welcome students welcome to our class of physics i am numan muttaki lecturer of physics of milestone college and in our class we are going to discuss on some creative questions the chapter num name is work energy and power this is the first cq you can see on the board i have written the question there is a spring there is another spring this is figure number 1 and this is figure number 2 and the question and the stem is there are two springs one is or one springs constant is ka and another springs constant is kb and the condition is ka is greater than kb that means the first uh, first spring has the maximum spring constant than the another they become compressed when a ball of mass 10 kg fall down on them that means a ball of 10 kg on both spring has fallen down and we are going to talk about the question the first question for three marks is what is the velocity of the ball before touching the spring for figure number 1 for figure number 1 the question is for figure number 1 what is the velocity of the ball before touching the spring it is related to falling body so the equation will be v square is equal to u square plus 2 gh so with this equation uh, we will do the math and the value of u that means the initial velocity of the ball is zero and 2 means 2 g means acceleration due to gravity and the value of acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 and the height height from 10 meter height the ball has been fallen uh, so the uh, height is 10 meter and the answer is 14 meter per second so with 14 meter per second the ball will touch the ground now we will go with our next question which is number d will be the work done be equal for both spring um for co uh, compression for compression uh, will be the work done for both spring will equal so let's do the math we know the work done of spring we have already discussed on the work done equation uh, for the first spring uh, the squeezeization or compression let the squeezeization for the first spring is x a a is the suffix and the uh, compression of the second spring or the spring number b is x b as k a is greater than k b that means the first spring has the more uh, spring constant than the another as uh, the stem so we can write x a is less than x b that means which has the maximum or more spring constant it has more capacity to uh, be squeezed or compressed so as first uh, has the maximum spring constant it will compress minimum so x a is less than x b we know the work done of spring for a w is equal to half k x for a k a x a square the equation is w is equal to half k x square and for the b w b is equal to half k b x b square these are the equations for the work done of both spring one is of w a another is of w b and as k a is maximum so x a is minimum k b is minimum so x b is maximum so the work done will be equal that means w a is equal to w b this is the answer thank you very much students this is cq number 2 on this lecture uh there is a spring there is actually one spring this is its normal condition and it is expanded condition so by applying the force f which is 25 newton we have extended the spring by 10 cm the first question is determine the work done to make it 6 cm expanded to make it 6 cm expanded we have to determine the work done so let's go with the equation the uh work done equation is half k x square what is k k means the spring constant so first of all we have to determine the spring constant by using this equation f is equal to k x 
So by changing the side, k is equal to f by x, and the value of f is uh, 25 newton. Here is the value of f. 10 centimeter by dividing it by 100, we have got 0 0.1, 0 0.1 meter. By um, doing the math, the math we have got the value 250 newton. So the spring constant is 250 newton. And by putting the value of 250 newton in replacement of k, and the value of x is 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter means 0. Point, uh, by, by uh, if we divide this by uh, 100, we can get uh, not, not for 10 centimeter. We are doing the math for 6 centimeter. Sorry, 6 centimeter by uh, doing the uh, dividation with 100, we got 0. 0.0. 6 the value of x so the result is 0 0.45 joule this is the answer of this equation so let's go with the four number question number four which is d is it possible to calculate the work done to make the spring 12 centimeter expanded is it possible to calculate the work done to make the spring spring 12 centimeter expanded and give the mathematical opinion let's do the math so First of all, we can write for 10 centimeter expansion, we can write for 10 centimeter to make 10 centimeter expanded. We can write W is equal to half K X square. Half means half, K means 250 as we got before. And the X is 10 centimeter by dividing it by 100. By dividing it by 100, uh, we can write uh, 0 0.1 square and the value will be 1.25 joule. Again, to make 2 centimeter expanded, we have to calculate for 12 centimeter expansion. We have already calculated for 10 centimeter. Now we go with the 2 centimeter. We can write W. This is for 1 and this is 2. Equal to half K. This is 1. This is X2 square. Half K means the spring constant 250. And X2 means 2 centimeter divided by 100. That is 0.02. And the result will be 0 0.05 joule. For 10 centimeter, 1.25, and for 2 centimeter, 0 0.05, and for 12 centimeter, we can write W is equal to W1 plus W2, that's equal to 1.25 plus 0 0.5, 1.25 plus 0 0.05, sorry, Joule, and the answer will be 1.3 Joule. This is the answer. For the equation, we can calculate the spring's um, expansion for 12 centimeter. Thank you very much.